Hi there, and welcome to Storytime with Kay. Today we will read Shimmer and Shine, The Amazing Magic Show, by Mary Tilworth and illustrated by Dave Akins. This book was published by Nickelodeon Publishing in 2016. One sunny afternoon, Leah was helping Zack practice tricks for his magic show. Zack held out his arm. I present to you the never-ending scarf trick. Just tug on the scarf coming out of my sleeve, and you'll find the longest scarf in the world. Leah pulled out three tiny scarves. Oops, Zack shrugged. I forgot to tie the scarves together. Are you sure you're ready to put on a magic show? Leah asked. Zack nodded. I'll be ready. I'm the amazing Zack. The magic is in me. And in Rocket's mouth, Leah pointed to in Rocket, who was gnawing hungrily at Zack's wand. Zack tugged the wand free and handed it to Leah. Hold on to this while I go inside and feed Rocket. Maybe he'll stop eating my magic stuff. I think Zack needs more help with his magic show than I can give him, Leah said. Then she had a bright idea. Wait, who knows magic better than a couple of genies? She held her necklace and called for shimmer and shine. Leah explained that Zack was putting on a magic show. He does magic? Like us? Shimmer gasped. Is Zack a genie? No, he's a magician, Leah said. He does magic tricks on stage. I'm his assistant, but I need your help to get his tricks to work. If we're going to put on a magic show, we got to dress the part. Shimmer waved her hand. In a flash, they all were wearing fancy gowns. Shine flew into the air. And you can't have a magic show without a stage. Leah gasped as a stage appeared before her eyes. Guys, this is amazing. You think this is amazing? Shimmer grinned. Wait till you see Zack. The genies jumped into Zack's magic trunk to hide as he came running into Leah's yard wearing a snazzy new costume. I told you I had some magic in me. He saw the stage behind Leah. Whoa, you made a stage? Just trying to be a good magician's assistant, said Leah. Zack fluffed up his cape. Speaking of, assistant, could you please bring me the box for my disappearing trick? Leah opened the magic trunk and spoke to the genies. For my first wish, I wish the disappearing trick would work. Shine clapped her hands. Shimmer and shine, disappearing trick divine. Leah handed the box to Zack. He placed a carrot inside and tapped the box with his wand. Abracapow! Disappear now! He chanted to make the carrot disappear. But after the cloud of smoke cleared, both the carrot and the box had vanished. The trick worked! Zack was eager to try his next act, pulling a rabbit out of his hat. But when he took his hat off, the rabbit wasn't inside. Where did he go? he asked. He's still on your head, giggled Leah. The rabbit scampered off. While Zack chased the runaway rabbit, the genies popped out of the trunk. About that trick. I just meant that I wanted the carrot to disappear, not the whole box, said Leah. Shine sighed. My mistake, Leah. 
I guess I made the trick work a little too well. That's okay, Shine. Leah heard Zack approaching. He's back. Quick, behind the curtain. Zack returned, but without the bunny. Since my magic is crushing it with awesomeness, I don't think I'll need that rabbit. I can pull a new one out of my hat. Leah ducked behind the curtain. For my second wish, I wish Zack had a real magic hat. Shimmer and shine, real magic hat divine, whispered Shimmer. Zack leapt onto the stage. Hold on to your hat as I pull something out of mine. He swept his magician's hat off his head. Abracapow, rabbit now. With a little hop, a rabbit jumped out. But the rabbit wasn't the only animal that came out of the hat. A clucking chicken, a scampering squirrel, two piglets, a goat, and an enormous elephant jumped out too. Wow, I didn't think a whole zoo was going to come out of there, gasped Leah. Me neither, said Zack. This must mean we're finally ready for the magic show. He hurried to his house to get Rocket. Suddenly, a loud cry came from the hat, and then a stream of water shot straight into the sky. Was that a whale? Leah asked. I can't have a whale in my backyard. Oh, I wish the magic hat would just stop already. It was her last wish. Shine clapped her hands. Shimmer and shine, stop this magic hat divine. Now we have to figure out a way to help Zack's magic show without my genie wishes, said Leah. Shimmer grinned. We just need to work together. The three girls quickly made a plan. That night, all the animals gathered around the stage. Let the magic show begin, announced Zack. For his first act... Zack performed his never-ending scarf trick. With some help from Shimmer and Shine, it went off without a hitch. Next, Zack put Leah in a cage and draped a cloth over it. When he pulled the cloth away, Nahal was inside. Backstage, Leah, Shimmer, and Shine giggled. Their plan was working. And for my final trick, I, the amazing Zack, will make these animals disappear. Zack threw a cloth over all the animals that had come out of the magic hat. When he pulled the cloth away, all the animals had vanished. The trick had worked. Rocket gave Zack and Leah a barking ovation. After Zack had gone home, Shimmer and Shine came out of their hiding place. You made the animals disappear, Leah exclaimed. But the twins hadn't done anything. Maybe he does have magic in him, said Shine. Little did they know, the animals were at Zack's house, eating carrots. The End Thank you for reading along. Be sure to rate and follow us for new episodes posted daily.